Co, czekaj. Zaraz zobaczysz. Tam na polanie. Głowy mają wydłużone i ciężkie. Oczy wyraziste i piękne. Mają krępą sylwetkę i silne nogi. Pamiętasz? To o nich twój dziadek mówił, że są podszyte wiatrem z połonin. I ludzi się nie boją. I choćby przyszła najsroższa zima, to przetrzymają. I pracowite są. Chodź, zobaczysz. Chodź. It is blissful to look at the beauty of nature, but for the majority of us, isn't the world irretrievably made? Sources of the curiosity of the landscape, vain fogs sailing along the horse's mane, and finally to mountain streams, where the trout is making eyes and is fluttering about. There's no reason to use a shopping mall. In the comfortable television armchair, watching nature in HD quality, you really won't understand nature. You won't smell the fragrance of horse stable perfume. But you will find that all there, where even the devil isn't saying goodnight, because he's afraid of the local thuds. The Carpathians and the Hutzel horse are inviting the people who seek adventure. Behind rivers and forests, from time long ago, somewhere on a pathway, there's an old house. In the center of Watach, and even like people saying the healer and the sorcerer, he is squeezing Bond. The fire is dying and it should go out alone. In this time, the farmers will be leading sheep towards villages. And when the autumn comes over the mountain pasture, everyone will go back towards the village. Most probably in of sowing Mother of God. People, horses, cattle, and sheep will come back here only after the winter. After all, for the Hutzel horse, there is nowhere better than on the mountain pasture. This is the way it was many years ago. I would give a lot for these heaven-sent moments. The one who sees surrounding the vast expanse of the Carpathian landscape is a lucky person. These hills are alive with the history of our great-grandfathers. The horse was a helper for many nations. For all time he served people, and he didn't need so much. Such a good-natured Hutzel horse. And the beginnings of this breed are fading in the twilight of history, is what the 17th century great Lithuanian marshal Krzysztof Dr. Hostatsky wrote about. When in the upper reaches of Cheremoshu and Prut, heavy weapons fought by horseback frequently, sometimes horses without the rider remained, when a lost bullet strayed incautiously to St. Peter. And horses? Well, they survived. In the field, they coexisted with sheep and the deforestation.
With time, they adapted to hard conditions of the woody Carpathians. In this way, a new breed of horses came into existence, Hutzel horses. And with every decade, Hutzel horses became more immune to difficult living conditions. They don't require exclusive stables and an elaborate diet. Those advantages of this breed were already noticed in the mid-19th century, and in 1925, Hutzel Tsina, an association of horse breeders of Hutzel race, was formed. The first chairman was Michal Bohoshevich, and his deputy, Petro Szeskerik Donikiv, was the most eminent Hutzel of interwar Poland. The farm matters and popularizing activity were entrusted to Michał Hollander. The association is developing for a dozen years, and this without interruption. Hutzels through the centuries became very helpful. Well, the horse liked the horse, one could say. But whoever fraternizes with this horse knows that they have a big heart, even when shown a little kindness. Unfortunately, after the Second World War, just a few of them remained. This proud horse again required revival. But in post-war times, when the border of Carpathian states changed, people first had to accustom themselves with this new reality. And only later, they could do other things. With time, however, they started remembering the virtues and the usefulness of the direct connection to Carpathian mountain pastures. Years later, these horses found their way to Sayar, where the first national stud of Hutzel horses was created. At present, her interior is the stud of Hutzel horses in Gladyshuf, in Regitov, being the biggest stud in Poland and Europe. In 1985, an experimental unit institute of the Zoetechniks in Ojurshov begun breeding Hutzel horses. Today, this is the second largest stud of Hutzel horses in Poland. After a few years, the third national stud of Hutzel horses was made in Bieszczady National Park in Wolosat. So many horses are hers, mares, stallions, and these fanciful foals. It's enough to make a cat laugh, but the clock in this place really didn't measure the time. We are shooing, and I wouldn't say no. Interesting job, after all demanding a lot of ability. Here they know how to do it and for touts in no way is causing discord. Similarly, with the Transcarpathian on the Ukrainian side, where new studs are formed, from which the biggest are the Scientific Production Association Plem Kolny Center in Golubinem. And breeding of Hutzel horses, Saji Ignatenko in Vielki, Today's 
Hutsulchina is in the areas of the west of the Ukraine. Very quickly, we will find the traditional and historic part Hutsulchina presently here, at the foot of the Charnahura in the southeast Carpathians. And where is the Hutsul? After all these years, local Highlanders were inspired by them with song and numerous ethnographical studies. Today, only a few conscientiously keep the traditions as customs changed with contemporary technologies. And the Hutzel, in some places, are still serving people. Although it is hard to believe, these humble horses, like none other, were used for difficult field work and deforestation. Contemporary farm machines will pull, yet are subject to low-hanging branches and forest holes, and are no equal to Hutzel's. These Hutzel's are taking up employment in heavy and challenging tasks. It looks like these little horses simply can't cope for themselves, but instead, they are proving their usefulness and power. The winter comes. In the Carpathians, for ages, bears hibernated in their dens. Wolves on the snowy carpet have left a trail and found their shelter somewhere deep inside the forest before the frost came. They can't be seen. It is as if they were never here. Nature, which slowed down after autumn mating season of horned bulls, Hutzel horses aren't endowed with preferential treatment, yet these are unusual animals. When the winter came on the mountain pastures, a snowstorm closed the road at the bottom of the mountain. For weeks, they grazed on only what they picked out of the snow. Today, it is easier for them to survive the wintertime. Poland and Ukraine are taking care of it. Long-standing programs are bringing desired effects to the reconstitution of the Hutzel horse.
Waters of mountain streams started thawing off, sounding the signal of the start to harvesting the hay left on the mountain pastures. In his work, Old Century Truth, Stanislav Vincenz, known as the Hutzelschina eulogist, described it this way. Only rarely did shepherds stay with cattle because it was not possible, because of their height and lack of roads. They will stay there until Christmas, and others will come in the early spring by the end of February. The only consolation is that the shepherds are feeding them with their modest belongings, such soft, pure, and juicy hay, unlike any found amongst the villages. This is the way it was, and still is. The Hutzel drags the hay toward the bottom. And not lazily, because it isn't in his nature to be slow. Usually in the first days of May, when lush grass is scraping the knees of the Hutzel horses and the waters of Vislok are becoming warmer, large horses are leading the bovine herd to the Green Inn. Strays are rare, beginning in Lower Beskid to Rudovatse for Rimanovska after 20 kilometers to end on pristine pastures. Polane, Sorovichne, once Lemko and Boikos inhabited this land. Here fair gypsies entertain God. Here it is nice. Small bells, whistling and shouts, without a squeal of tires and horns. Today, those days are gone. After a responsible job, a well-deserved rest is taking place. The Emerald Meadow, or the Straw Fair, it doesn't matter. The Hutzels need a moment to relax. Horses living at one time in the rigors of mountain pastures without a fuss. Will not refuse pleasures. The gentle temperament of these animals and the specific bond which links the Hutzel with man has led to their use in hippotherapy. A horse is a lot of happiness and warmth on four legs. Incredible, but these are the words of a child. Kids and horses. Horses and kids. Joy and the adventure, but above all, true health. Friendship with a Hutzel? Why not? Hippotherapy with Hutzel? Of course. The effects of therapy with the Hutzel guaranteed.
Rays of sunshine are reflecting off the water's surface. They are resting on roofs of cottages erected decades ago and are also warming shoulders of the riders. Carved with the chisel of the Carpathian self-taught person, rock cliffs are flirting with the revived holiday nature. Elaborate sunrises and sunsets, now when the days are becoming longer, rapidly growing more lovely. The glow and fogs hiding the fairy tale character always with a good end. And the Carpathian forest is full of impenetrable buried secrets from pre-recorded history. Murmuring forests still remember the turmoil of war. And we horseback over field highways and byways, and we paddle around the rocky corridor of the Vislok. We are experiencing poetry of the landscape and history of the Carpathians. A history indeed marked with both the blood of people and animals. Meanwhile, Hutzel horses have difficult times as shown by their heavy breathing. Thanks to initiatives from both sides of the Polish and Ukrainian borders, the breed has been revived. Cultivating the culture and the tradition of Carpathians isn't meaningless. Horse tourism is becoming a passport to Lower Beskid, Bishadi, Transcarpathia, and Hutzelsina. In your lifetime, don't miss the opportunity to come here. You won't regret it. Only stick to the back of mountain pastures and dream. It's possible that you will manage to feel the wonder of this place. Perhaps you will see remains of old times in the distance. Here on the mountainsides and in the ravines, riding shapes character. If it is blowing or snowing, riders will miss the ancient treasures that Charnahora recalls, that ancient horses in deep ravines are capering about. Carpathian's land and if somebody will visit this place he will never forget it and this horse the heir to mountain stories and the champion of mountain pastures humble and modest are good-natured Hutzel.